Why are single line to ground and double line to ground faults categorized as unbalanced faults? A. Because they do not occur in all three lines. B. Because they give rise to unequal currents in lines. C. Because they are grounded. Time's up. The answer is B. Because they give rise to unequal currents in lines. One or two of the three phases have zero current in both faults. As a result, the system is unbalanced. For example, if phase A experiences a single line to ground fault, phase B and C will have zero current while phase A will have maximum current, resulting in an unbalanced current flow in three lines. Similarly, if there is a double line to ground fault in phases A and B, phase C will have no current. A symmetrical fault should have A equal phase, B, equal increment in current value, C, both. Time's up. The answer is C, both. Balanced three-phase faults are symmetrical faults. It occurs when all three phases are shorted at the same time, resulting in an equal current value in all three phases. Why do we use per unit system in fault calculations? A. To bring the system on a single value based on a single base. B. To eliminate differences in values of parameters in different zones of system. C. No specific reason. Time's up. The answer is B. To eliminate differences in values of parameters in different zones of system. The per unit system simplifies fault calculation by removing the need for information about transformer, delta, or star connections, or adjusting transformer parameters based on primary or secondary referencing. Also, regardless of zone, voltages have the same range. What is the cause of negative sequence current in power system? A. Ground current. B. Unbalanced current. C. Flow of current in opposite direction. Time's up. The answer is B. Unbalanced current. Negative and zero sequence currents occur when there is an unsymmetrical or unbalanced current flowing through the system. Zero sequence current can be prevented. A. When the system has no ground connection. B. When the system has shunt reactors. C can never be prevented. Time's up. The answer is A, when the system has no ground connection. Zero sequence current only flows in ground, so absence of ground means no zero sequence current. Do per unit values have any units? A, same as normal values. B, there are other units. C, no units. Time's up. The answer is C, no units. As per unit value is ratio of original value to base value. It cancels out the units. How many bases do we need to proceed with the calculations? A, all. B, at least one. C, at least two. Time's up. The answer is C, at least two. We need at least two base values so that other base values can be calculated using them. Which parameter should have same base value in all zones? A. Power. B. Voltage. C. Current. Time's up. The answer is A. Power. Because the power of the system remains same. Generator only feeds A positive sequence current, B, negative sequence current, C, zero sequence current. Time's up. The answer is A, positive sequence current. Only positive sequence current is fed to the system. Other sequence components only arise in case of faults. Why do we represent delta side of transformer as open circuit in case of zero sequence network? A because it has no ground. B, because it does not let zero sequence current flow through it. C, both. 
Time's up. The answer is C, both. When there is an unbalanced current and ground is available in the system, zero sequence current flows. Because the delta connection has no ground, zero sequence current cannot flow through it. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on whenever we post new content. Thank you and see you next time.